So next, I wanted to talk to you about the AI wars. And this is going to come up a lot when we talk about search and how search is being changed and Google is being impacted by all of this. And I'm going to give you a very kind of high level overview of what this means. And then we will be bringing this back up uh, all the time. So first thing you need to understand is that every major company from Apple to Google to Microsoft to hundreds of startups to all of these engineers that left the Apples and the Googles uh, to start their own companies, all the PhDs from Stanford that left to start with their own companies, there is just an explosion uh, of AI creativity and, and companies. And the one that caused us to jump the chasm, ChatGPT, is built by a company called OpenAI. Now, OpenAI is started out as a nonprofit. A lot of the Google engineers were part of it. They started to work with large language models and some of the cutting edge of artificial intelligence. And then they released ChatGPT uh, online in November and all heck broke loose. ChatGPT's main funder is Microsoft, who's put $13 billion into it and is now building ChatGPT into its basically formerly non-entity search engine, Bing. And suddenly Bing, which has, I think, like under 5% of the search market, is now becoming a significant competitor to Google search. Now, Google, ironically, is the company that pioneered many of the ideas that are now being used in artificial intelligence research. But because a lot of it is research, it's academic and it's published and it's then shared with the community. And so Google, a couple of weeks after ChatGPT was released in November, they released a version of their ChatGPT, and it was immediately panned by critics, and the company lost a hundred billion dollars in market cap overnight. So they pulled it, and in the last week, they put Bard back out for public display. Google is going to be a major player in this space, but they have to be really careful because unlike OpenAI, which is a startup, they have a $200 billion ad business to protect. And they're really worried about how generative search where you create new content is going to compete with, uh, where generative AI is gonna compete with traditional search. Because in many ways you get better answers from generative AI and ChatGPT than what you get from Google. So Microsoft versus Google, Meta is very active in this space. Everybody is throwing their hat in the ring. All of the traditional players, you know, the Slacks and the HubSpots, they're now building AI into their programs and the game is on, the war is on, the battles are being waged. There's a lot of noise about this. You know, you'll be hearing a lot about this every day for the rest of your lives. And we are now in the middle uh, of the rapid arms race to get as much out and to gobble up as much market and mind share as possible. We're going to try to help you navigate all this noise. Honestly, most of it is noise. Um, you know, Google right now is is not uh, leading. Microsoft is, but don't count Google out there. They have some of the best engineers working on these problems in the world. They're just taking it a little bit slow. You will see, I promise.